have two nostrils, left nostril, which is connected to the right brain, right nostril, which is connected to the left brain, left nostril, it is connected to parasympathetic nervous system, right nostril is connected to the sympathetic nervous system. When we are uh, sitting for meditation, for argument's sake, when um, my left nostril is active, left nostril is <coughs> connected with the Ida Nadi, right nostril is connected to the Pingala Nadi. Left nostril, when I am sitting for meditation, my Ida is active, it activates my Jnanendriyas. Jnanendriyas like eyes, ears, smell and uh, touch and taste buds, it activates that one. And when I am sitting for meditation, if my Pingala is active, it activates my Karmendriyas, my legs, my hands and uh, the lo lower upper chairs and uh, talking, it activates that one. When I sit for meditation, if the Ida is active, mind becomes very restless. I can't sit for long. My mind has become very restless. I can't meditate. It's uh, jumping from one thought to another. And on the other token, when my Pingala is active, right nostril, I can't sit. Every two minutes I want to move. I want to move. My leg is hurting. This one is hurting. I feel like moving away. I don't want to sit here. My limbs are not in control. When is uh, uh, the Ida, when it is active and uh, uh, my mind becomes restless, Pingala is active, my, uh, the, it's a Karmendriyas, limbs becomes restless. What uh, yoga, yoga is uh, talking about, what meditation, if you want to have a good meditation, you need to active the central nervous system, which is called as Sushumna Nadi. Not Ida, not Pingala, the another one. The balance, the harmony between the Ida and Pingala is called as Sushumna Nadi. When there is a harmony between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, the central Nadi, the central one, it is called as Sushumna Nadi. When that Sushumna Nadi is active and when that is active, that person can sit for meditation for long time. In Ida and Pingala, it's a, it's a Ida is, is active and the mind is not able to stay. And Pingala, it's a limbs are pushing me out of the place. And Sushumna, in Sushumna Nadi, when you go for Sushumna Nadi, Ida and Pingala are equally open. When they are equally open, then Sushumna Nadi. That inner awakening starts there. You start enjoying the meditation. You start enjoying within. The Sushumna Nadi uh, is the one in the yoga also, in the Shastras, Vedas, Upanishads, they talks about all Nadis. We have 72,000 Nadis, 72,000 Nadis in the body. They are distracting us. They are called as uh, uh, dark nadis. The dark nadis, there is no light. A soul departs through 72,000 nadis. It's uh, nothing but it has to come back. The, the one, the illumined nadi is called as Sushumna nadi. The, is called as path of light. The path of light. The li light, light is there only in that one. And light, light is there, and uh, and uh, in Narayana Upanishad also Narayana Sukta it is uh, uh, talks about Sukra Bhagvir Bhajantista, and uh, it talks about uh, Nilato Yadamadhyasta Vidhyaleke Vabhaswara, and everywhere is a darkness, and it is like a lightning. 
the lightning, the brightness of that one, one experiences that one in that, uh, in the Sushumna Nadi. Why meditators, though they go to many places, even to Himalayas, they sit for years. They sit for years. Why? They are looking for that light. I want to realize that light. That light is there within. And scriptures have told, there is like a lightning, that Nadi is there. I want to experience. They have full conviction on the scriptures. Whatever the master has said, they have full belief in the teacher. It is not just an imagination. If I do not have faith in the teacher or in the scriptures, I won't be able to sit for that one, looking for that light. Sushumna Nadi, when you are so convinced, I want to look. I, when I sit for meditation, in the, maybe that I will have that uh, flash of lightning. Light, I experience that one. Once you experience that one, your desire is not satiated. I want to see that one more. I want to see that one more. I want to see in front of this light, even the light of the sun is in, in nothing. Even the sunlight, it is insignificant. I want that light. I want that light. What Shastras are uh, talking about, uh, it is uh, uh, um, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, in the sunlight. Sunlight, yada ditya gatan tejo jagat basayate kilam yachandramasi yachagno tattejo vidhimamakam. Sunlight, moonlight, or stars, or lightning, or the fire, that nothing compared to that one, I want that one. Shri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita says, that light, it is coming from me alone. And the meditator, meditator wants to see that light. That person, one who has seen, that person is called as an illumined person. A illumined person, he, he, he or she is illumined by that light. When that light one person has seen, then what he or she has to see outside? I have seen the ultimate. When I seen the ultimate, what I have to see outside? This one, that the, in the sadhana uh, uh, it is talking about, would go beyond Ida and Pingala. Ida and Pingala, it is good for your outer transaction. But if your inner blossoming has to happen, seek that light which illumines the all light. Natatra Suryo Bhati Na Chandra. Um, uh, Chandra Tarako, it uh, talks about Natatra Suryo Bhati Na Chandra Tarakam. <coughs> Nema Vidyito Bhanti Kutoya Magnihi. Tameva Bhanta Manubhati Sarvam. Tasya Bhasa Sarva Idam Vibhati. With that light alone, the light in the sun glows, or the moon glows, or the star, or fire, or uh, lightning. All lights are nothing but illumining from that light. Seek that one that is the purpose of yoga, yoga sadhaka, meditator. They are seeking for that light. Thumb and index finger together.